Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to give you a brief idea on how you're actually going to approach this course and where you're going to find the material and how and what you should be looking at. So of course when you log into the course this is going to be your home page and you will see um, this page always unless there is an announcement and I change the page. Here is your syllabus which you can uh, take a look at. This is the lecture schedule. I would suggest that you print this out and here's the lab schedule and print that out as well and go through the syllabus and this just tells you the people who are going to be teaching. Uh, I'm Dr. Naravne, the course director and you can see that I teach these units. Uh, Professor Manavlan from St. Pete's campus will be teaching the other part of the course with uh, one lecture being done by Dr. Fernandez and each campus has its own lab professors. Uh, take a look at all of what is written up here and then here you will see the various tabs that you see uh, on the left hand side. So what you're going to do and places that you're interested in and before I do that let me also show you that on this home page it also tells you the days and the times your um, assignments are due. So this is due on this date, uh, the first lecture exam. So when you look at the schedule, all of this will be given. Now, when you before you come to class, what I would suggest, uh, Dr. Manav, uh, Professor Manavlan and I do it a little differently. What I have is, and you'll notice that there are various um, modules. The video lectures under this are the lectures as we talk in class. That are, those are taped, and then they'll be uploaded up here. Uh, so you can see that the course is broken up into four main units. You can see these. These are the four main units. So for now, you will only see these. These others will open up. So I have notes provided for you, and I have a PowerPoint provided for you. You are expected to read everything in the notes. I may not mention all that is in the notes while I'm talking in class, um, but you need to read all of it. So I'm just giving you an example. So if you take a look at the notes, so you can see, you know, all of this is available. Sometimes the notes have videos and lecture questions embedded in it. So for example, here, this is just an interesting video to take a look at. In this, there are no questions, but some um, some of my lecture notes have questions in them. You need to know every word that is written up here. Uh, this is a very nice video that I made for you to, um, uh, to explain the sympathetic nervous system. So let's go back. So we go back to module. So that's those are the notes and then here is the PowerPoint which you will download and you'll follow along in class with me. Um, and the PowerPoint has a lot of text in it because students requested that I put text. Normally they shouldn't. Uh, but um, PowerPoints are not supposed to have text, but students requested that I have. So you'll see a lot of text um, in it. Uh, but not all of what is in the notes are in this text. So please do make sure that you look at the notes um, carefully and you go through them. I also have a lot of resources available for you and those resources are under a tab which says review quizzes. So these are really, really important. Many students have found these very useful. I suggest that you take a look at these as well. When you go to the labs, you will find for each lab there's a set of directions. Uh, your lab professors will go over these with you, but you need to do them yourself as well. So you can always go and review and know what you are doing for each lab. You will find some dissection videos. You'll find some x-rays. These x-rays will be used uh, for your uh, test for test purposes. You also have resources like a bone box and virtual skeleton. So just to give you an example, um, this is the bone box up here. Um, only part of it is showing, but let's say I'm, I want to look at a cervical vertebra. So it kind of, you know, if you click on this, it tells you what the answer is. Uh, so this is really useful. So please do uh, make sure that you kind of look at all these resources and you're ready for class on Tuesday.